After Europe, the latest stop on Qatar's diplomatic push for international support is Moscow and a meeting with Russia's foreign minister, Sergei Lavrov. The main goal of this visit is to brief Russia on the events and measures introduced against Qatar, and in particular those illegal measures against our country. And here I'd like to confirm Qatar's position that all disagreements have to be solved through dialogue. Piling on the pressure, Saudi Arabia and its allies have issued what they call a Qatar terror financing blacklist that names 59 people and entities, including charities, some of which are linked to USAID and Oxfam. Qatar rejects the accusations and hoped Washington was coming round on side. On Friday, Secretary of State Rex Tillerson called for the blockade on Qatar to be eased. But shortly after, President Trump took Riyadh's line and described the measures against Doha as hard but necessary action. The established geopolitics and alliance systems of the Gulf appear extremely volatile. There has been some speculation that what we're looking at here is a grand realignment of the Middle East with Russia, Iran, Turkey and Qatar on one side and then Saudi Arabia, its GCC allies, Egypt and the United States on the other. That's not what analysts here in Moscow have been telling me, though. They say that actually Russia doesn't want to choose size and get that deeply involved. Certainly, that was the impression given by Sergei Lavrov. As a matter of principle, Russia doesn't intervene in domestic or bilateral ties of any other country. Of course, a situation when relations between our partners are deteriorating doesn't please us. We advocate for solving any conflict between states at the negotiation table through equal and mutually respectful dialogue. An irony here is that Russia technically views both Doha and Riyadh as funders of terrorism because of their support for armed groups fighting Bashar al-Assad in Syria. But that's not stopped Moscow forging a working relationship with both countries, spanning infrastructure investment, finance, energy and diplomacy. Russia seems reluctant to risk all that by getting too deeply involved in this crisis. Qatar says the best way to de-escalate is through dialogue with its Gulf neighbours. It appears that Moscow agrees. Rory Challens, Al Jazeera, Moscow.